Hey guys, how are you? Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about our 3-in-1 burger press that's new to Epicure. You've probably seen this in the catalog and wondered how it works. Well, today I'm going, I'm going to post a video later on how to use the press um, to make the sliders and regular burgers and stuffed burgers. But tonight we're actually going to do something a little bit different with it. Now, my favorite thing about Epicure, and I talk about this in all of my cooking classes, is just how versatile Epicure products are. And that doesn't stop with the burger press. So I saw this really cool video earlier today that another consultant did, and I thought I'm, I was going to try it out. Uh, today is Friday, and it's pizza night at our house, so I'm going to be demoing mini pizzas in the burger press. So I made a pizza dough earlier today. Um, if you go to epicure.com and just type in pizza dough, there's a really delicious um, dough recipe in there that literally takes like five minutes to make. And in my dough, I put some pizza spice. So you can kind of see that in there. So it adds a little extra flavor. Look at mine. Yeah, we're going to show your pizza after. Okay. And I just wanted to make it a little more yum. Oh, we put onions on it too. Yum. That, so, that, that. And I'm just going to flatten my dough a little bit. Oh. Layla, we're going to show them after, okay? okay? So what I'm going to do is just press the pizza dough down. I want to get the cool. Okay, so it's just like that. And then, I you take this off, the and then you've got this, this little circle here that actually creates a well in your dough or in your meat to make, um, to add your stuffing into. So what I'm going to do is add, add a little well into here. You don't really have to press too hard, but because I'm short, I'm, I have to press a little harder. And then what happens is you get this nice little well in your pizza, and that creates like a nice crust, you can see. So then you can put all your, your toppings in there, yeah. and then you have a nice crust around your pizza. So it, it actually worked out pretty evenly. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to be able to eat two of these without any guilt. And Miss Layla, you're going to have one too, yes. I want to have two. You're going to have two? I think you can eat that. I think you can manage two. I'm just going to press it out a little more. Yeah, because it's not very well. The well is not well. <laughs> the well is not well. Ha ha ha. We like corny jokes in this house. Yeah, we like jokes that run with a joke. Jokes that run with a joke. So, Layla, what did you make there? I made a homemade pizza. Yeah. I put some sauce on with my new spreader. Mm -hmm. Spreader from my because I because I had a firefighter kit. From yeah. And then what you summer? put on your pizza? I put in pepperoni, cheese. All of fuss, and then uh, while my mom was doing it, I put it on some onions and mm. some pasta. Now I'm just going to talk about our pizza sauce for one second. Um, I just reused an old jar, but what I put in here was just um, a can of tomato pizza sauce. I just put a can of um, all-purpose tomato sauce, and then I added a couple tablespoons of marinara, and I mixed that in, and I just let it sit in the fridge. Uh, the night before until it, it kind of thickens up a little bit and then we use that for pizza sauce uh, probably this jar lasts us about four weeks um, and yeah it's homemade mama, sauce and mama. not full of chemicals and it's really delicious so I really highly recommend you guys grab a burger press I'm so excited for stuffed burgers um, all summer long and mini sliders that the kids are going to absolutely love this summer as well and of course pizza I like and I'm sure Epicure is going to come out with a whole bunch of other uh, different recipes and stuff uh, and ideas that you can use with burger press so again this is awesome because it's nice and small and compact I want that one. okay just a minute and it goes in there and it's all 
goes in your cupboard or a drawer no problem and it doesn't take up a lot of space so um, I've actually been challenged to sell 10 of these for the month of May and I challenged my team to sell 10 of these for the month of May um, so if you want one they're only $14.95 and I think it's a great value a great Father's Day gift um, something for yourself or any other barbecue lover hamburger lover you have in your family so Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just you know where to find me. Bye. Say bye.